Arabia has launched an attack on Yemen, uh, a bombing attack so far. Devote attention to a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, in which uh, he gave to us a triangle of Akhiru Zaman. And my brief talk to you today is on that triangle. A triangle is a figure with three corners, three corners in it. Uh, in one corner, he said, Allahumma barik lana fi shamina, our Sham, our beloved Sham. Sham is Syria. Uh, Sham also includes Palestine and so on. So he prays for Allah's blessings on Sham, which is most of all Damascus. And then he says, Allah mubarak lana fi Shamina wa Yemenina. And he also prays for his Yemen, his beloved Yemen, and asks for Allah's blessings on Yemen. One corner of the triangle is Sham. The next corner of the triangle is Yemen. And both Sham and Yemen have very important roles to play in Akhir Zaman. For example, Damascus. It is in Damascus that Imam al Mahdi will be present. Not only do you have Imam al Mahdi in Sham, in Damascus, and have Dajjal also present at the same place in Damascus, in Sham. When the Imam is there. But number three, the Nabi Isa alayhi salam, Jesus returns right there, the same spot. He refers to it as our Yemen, therefore our beloved Yemen. This also is a very important corner. Why? Because one of the signs of the last day, major signs of the last day, a fire is going to come out of Yemen, said the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. State Department in the United States not going to like this at all. Oh no. A fire is going to come out of Yemen. Britain and France can do what they want. They can't stop it. A fire is going to come out of Yemen and drive people to their place of assembly for judgment. MashaAllah, this is lovely language. I love it. So Yemen has a very important role to play in Akhir Zaman. And those who have been traitors to Islam, they have to be scared of Yemen. Because it's coming. The fire is coming. What is the third corner of the triangle? The people ask, O Messenger of Allah, what about our Najd? Today when you ask people about Najd, they have forgotten. They changed the name and they gave a new name, a bogus name that they took out of a garbage bin and they called it the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Why? So that you'll forget the word nudged. That is why. Well then, what is nudged? The Arabian Peninsula is divided into two main parts. On the eastern side of Arabia is the, is the part of Arabia called Najd. And that's where you have the oil fields, that's where you have Dahran, that's where you have Riyadh, the capital city. Why did they change the name? Why did they want the world to forget the word Najd? The answer is because when the people ask the Prophet about Najd, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, he did not reply. For this one he's silent. Ominous silence. Ominous silence for Najd. Why? And when they ask a second time, O oh, oh Messenger of Allah, what about our Najd? The time has now come with the Saudi attack on Yemen for us to expose you as bogus and fraudulent as scholars of Islam. When the Prophet answered, this is what he said, pointing to Najd, he said, from Najd there will be fitna test and trials for the people and that's what we now experience and earthquakes and earthquakes are not only physical earthquakes you have political earthquakes as well you have monetary earthquakes as well like the petrodollar monetary system and he said about Najd the corner of the triangle the third corner he said Karn shaitan Karn means a horn but Karn also means an age, a period of time. And so we conclude that when the Prophet said about Najd, the third corner of the triangle, that this is Karn shaitan we say that's the satanic age.